To follow along in this course, you'll need to install the Android Developer Tools from Google. You'll need the latest version as of the time of this recording, released in May 2013. To get the Android Developer Tools package, go to the website at developer.android.com SDK. On this page, you'll see a link to download the SDK for your operating system. I'm working on Windows 8, so I see a link for ADT Bundle for Windows. If you're working on Mac, you should see the appropriate link for Mac OS X. When you click the link, you'll be presented with the terms and conditions. Read through them, and if you agree, check the appropriate checkbox and select the version of the tools that you need for your operating system. When you download the ADT bundle, it will include both the SDK and a customized version of Eclipse. This will be downloaded as a zip archive. You can extract the zip anywhere on your hard disk. I've placed it on my desktop. Check the date, which is a part of the folder name. The last part of the folder name is the date of release, and the version you're looking for is 2013, May 22nd, or later. Now, fire up Eclipse. Go to the Eclipse folder within the ADT folder and open the Eclipse application. The Workspace Launcher asks you what workspace you want to use. I recommend using a special workspace for this course. I've named mine Android GMAPS, but you can name it anything you like. If this is the first time you've used this workspace, you'll see a welcome screen appear when Eclipse starts. I'm not seeing mine because I've used this workspace before. Just close the welcome screen and you should see this default perspective or layout. The next step is to download the components you'll need. Go to the menu and choose Window, Android SDK Manager. By default, ADT includes the most recent version of the Android SDK tools. In this version, the most recent revision is 22.0.1. And you'll have a default SDK platform. This version includes Android 4.2.2, or Jelly Bean, or API 17. But you'll need more than that to work through this course. First, scroll down to the bottom of the list. If you're working on Windows, check the option to download the Google USB driver. You'll need that to connect to a device. Also select Google Play Services. This is a library that you'll be using that contains all the critical components for adding maps to your applications. The Google Play Services library depends on having both the most recent version of the SDK and version 8, which is the version for Froyo, or 2.2. So scroll back up a bit, open Android 2.2, and select the SDK platform with an API version 8. That's everything you need to get started. Click the Install button, accept all the licenses as needed, click Install, and then wait a few minutes while the SDKs download. After the new SDK components have been downloaded, I recommend restarting Eclipse before you go on to the next step, importing the Google Play Services library that you'll link to your applications.